Hello, hello, this is Ark the Pie King, and I was going to do just a uh, regular test video. I wasn't planning on showing this to anybody, but, you know, I thought about it, and I decided to go ahead and do a test video and uh, LP a game that I've been wanting to do for a long time anyway. So this is, as you can see, what looks to be possibly the worst thing that's ever come out. Um, it's a game called Magical Date. It was in uh, Japanese arcades. I think it came out in the... Late 90s, maybe 96, 97, somewhere in there. Uh, not 100% sure. Um, I cannot read Japanese. That should be pretty apparent. The way I found this game was I was I was really bored one day, and I decided to play the worst possible arcade game I could find. And I just started looking through names and found one named Magical Date. Here we are. Um, turns out I actually really like this game a lot, and I'll show you why here in a minute. Now first you get to pick one of three lovely waifus. Um, lovely girl number one, super sweet girl, and the uh, tsundere shy blue one. I'm going to go with the uh, super sweet girl for this one. Um, no real reason, just she's center of the screen, and she constantly holds her wrists like they're broken, and it's really adorable. Now we can go to the beach, or we can go to the shrine? I'm pretty sure that's a shrine. Uh, we'll go to the beach. And sure enough, those are some broken wrists. Now, what this game is, is it's actually a series of mini-games. It has nothing to do with dating. And, oh, alright, and we're starting on a fun one. As you can see, I am this lovely space head, and I am shooting, uh, shooting UFOs to win the affection of my love. Uh, let's see, this looks to be a, just a Outlast the uh, timer one. The different games have different objectives. Um, they're all pretty good, except for... Uh... Ah, yes, and then the Nightmare Fuel. And pardon me if I clear my throat from time to time. I've got a, a little bit of a sore throat. She says Sugoi, which I believe is um, a Japanese for nine-tailed fox. Alright, and we're on to... Oh, good. Question and answer. Um, should she wear the skimpy bikini or the practical swimsuit? I'm gonna go with the practical swimsuit because I like uh, speed lines. They make everything go faster. And, you know, we might have to escape a shark or something, you never know. Alright, and... Ah, another good one. This is quite a bit harder than the last one, but it is essentially a one-on-one -on -one frog fighting game, and I am already off to a terrible start. Ah, yeah, it's the AI is really brutal in this one. I'm probably going to lose it a couple times before winning, unless I can kind of edge him out, which... My um, strategy of choice is to try to stay on the edge of your uh, tongue radius, or tongue range, and... I think that counts as a win? Yes. I couldn't remember if you could time them out or not, but... Man, I'm genuinely surprised I got that first try. Usually the AI is quite a bit meaner than that. But it may also be because it's the beginning of the game, and I usually get that one pretty late. Uh, the games are randomized, as far as I can tell. Or at least quasi-randomized. Ah, yes. And now we have a question and answer round. Um, I'm not gonna lie, if I game over on this, um, just there's an option to skip. And... Uh, yeah, this is gonna be painful. If you get a game over, you can skip the round. You won't get any points for it, though, which kind of sucks. Oh, awesome. I got that one right. Sweet. Uh, this one has a happy face. And the happy face was right, my god. I can't believe I didn't game over. She's just super happy that I'm so knowledgeable about whatever I was answering.
Which, I can't blame her, I am super knowledgeable about whatever I was answering. And now for the creepy part. One, her eyes are terrifying. And two, I get to take pictures of my, uh, my, my girlfriend. Oh, please stop doing that, that's so creepy. And out of film, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, why did it ha It picks one of your shots randomly, and then decides to go, that's the best one, and apparently the one where she looks like she's about to fall flat on her face, which, actually, now that I think about it, is the best one, because she's about to fall flat on her face. And that's always hilarious, no matter who it is. Alright, now we're going to go to the fair, or the carnival, what have you. remember what this game is off the top of my head. Oh, okay, it's a memory game. I do like the little tutorials before the games. It uh, really shows you what you're doing. That's not what I meant to do. There we go, perfect. Oh god, I have to do it again. And a third time. I actually paid attention this time, though. Well, mostly. Yeah, much smoother than the other two. I won, because I'm the best at everything. And I am Sugoi. Oh, this is a fun one, but it is actually surprisingly difficult. Um, it is basically the, um, I can't remember what it's called, but like the, the battle ball game from um, Mario Party where you have to push everything off the edge, and it's not easy to get things to actually go off at all. Like, as you can see, I have not successfully gotten any of them off. Uh, throw some more quarters in, and I'm going to continue and try this again. Now, each time you continue, which is a little insulting, um, but they lower the difficulty. Like, as you can see, I've only got three targets this time instead of, uh, instead of five. And sure enough, now I have the one. Oh my gosh, I just flew off. Oh my god, I'm about to fail. Nope, I actually got it. And now I get to do it again. This time with three, though. See, the problem is you have to build up a lot of momentum to knock them off. And when you have that much momentum, really all you can do is go in a straight line. It doesn't control very well. I like the concept, but its execution is not the greatest. But this has so many different games that you can't really get mad about it. And I think this is where I have to make another arbitrary choice about what kind of creepy pictures I'm going to be taking. Uh, oh, no. Oh, gosh. Um, I, I like tildes and exclamation points. And this one also has a tilde. And an exclamation point. Um, we'll ask you this question because it's long. And apparently I have picked the wrong options. She is angry. I have angered her. Also, giant cat cutout sprite in the middle of the field. That's cool. Oh, this one's pretty good. Um, this is basically the pilot wing stage, um, with the plane where you have to hit the targets. Uh, except it cr controls quite a bit easier than pilot wings, because pilot's wings controls like garbage, it's, since it's supposed to be a simulator. On a Super Nintendo. Pardon me. Quiet, trying to concentrate. Eh, well, that one wasn't too bad. It was um, quite a bit of fun, actually. Okay. 
Yep, that is definitely a giant cat. Um... Oh, this game is interesting. It's just a game of timing. And it's very nerve-wracking because it always comes down to the wire. Oh my gosh, yeah, see that? It's so nerve-wracking. I think the one thing that throws me off about that one is if you get it where it's actually all the way full, you don't get any air, and my instinct is to try to hit the very top because that's where the red line is. Okay, I guess I'm gonna take pictures of her on the, the basketball tennis court. Oh, is that an actual basketball? No, no, I want to take pictures of the bat. Stop doing that. I want to take pictures of the bat. And she threw it away. How, how rude was that? She threw the ball away when I was trying to take pictures of it, and now she's not even looking at the camera. <sighs> I tell ya, no manners. Well, whatever. Um, now we can go to the shrine or the karaoke bar. Um, I am not having any of that karaoke nonsense, and I'm gonna go pay my respects instead to my ancestors, probably, in winter. Or No, it looks like we're going on a ship, actually. Okay, I, I've never actually seen this game before. Alright, that is definitely a T. Uh, that's a W. That'll give me a W or an M, that'll be terrible. Oh gosh, is that a f 5? Yes it is. And I can't tell what that is at all, I think that's a... Oops. No, it's a... Darn it. I ain't giving up. Uh, K. There we go. Yeah, I absolutely just could not tell that that was an R. When I thought that I had realized what it was, I was going to go for the question mark. That was obviously not right. I think this is the... Oh, I do not like this game. It's one of the few that I just don't get any enjoyment out of. For that reason right there. It's very hard to tell how much, like, waiting you have to do. Timing is so strange, and I know that's why they give you so many like extra rockets. But but it's just really hard to get it down for me anyway. I've never been good at that delayed timing stuff. I'm sure somebody else would would like it, but it is uh, it is not for me. Good questions. Uh, the red Chinese dress or the really terrible yellow dress with the equally terrible underboob thing? We're gonna go with the Chinese dress. And I'm gonna. I've got a little dancing sprite on it. I like that. Oh, good, another quiz. I'm probably gonna fail this one, but I was also probably gonna fail the last one. Here we are. I have to get four questions right. Um, yeah, needless to say, I'm just gonna skip this one. Um, uh, gonna go with the chick 
the... That was incorrect. It was Donkey Kong 96. Uh, no, we're gonna, we're gonna nope right out of that. Oh, good, it does change, actually. So you still get to, you still get the opportunity to get the square, but... You just don't have to do that, uh, activity. Uh, the rocket has a little bit of weight to it when you're moving it. Um, shoot. It doesn't, it doesn't turn or stop on a dime, um, but that one's not too bad. Uh, I kind of enjoy that one, to be honest. ABC, um, oh, this is a really fun one, actually. Uh, I have to spell the word that it's got. Let's see, um, mouse. Uh, two R's, uh, carrot. I think it's been the left option every time so far. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Um, rabbit. I think it's Rabbit. Yes! Sweet. I really enjoy that one. I like little, um, little logic puzzles like that. I guess that's not a logic puzzle, but, you know, little brain teasers, so to speak. Uh, I have to poke a hat, and then there's an arrow. Oh, okay. I just have to trap the object in the box. This is one of the simpler ones. As I fail immediately. Bing bong! And then I get a horrifying shower of random objects. Love it. <laughs> Just one second here, I'm gonna check on the status of my recording, make sure everything's going hunky-dory. Yep, everything's going fine. Ah, uh, is that so? Wait, was that Santa Claus in the background? Hold up, I am not moving from this spot until I find out if that was Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah, get rid of all the pictures. Oh, oh, there's several Santas. Ha! I've never gotten this area before. Ha! I guess it's some sort of Christmas banquet or something fancy like that. Alright, and this is going to be the last one. We can go to the karaoke, we can go to the hot spring. Um, gosh. I guess I will go with the karaoke then, because the hot spring is just no bueno. Ah, we're back to the head game again. I might fail this one, because the difficulty is going to be significantly harder than it was last time. Uh, if you're constantly firing, then the cursor moves slower, so you want to try to get things out in uh, short bursts. There we go. Look at how happy we made him. I'm gonna have nightmares about that for days. I wonder if I can get the top rank. I've never actually gotten it before, but I'm on pretty good pace for it right now. Back to the matching game again. Yeah, we're starting to get some, um, definitely getting some repeats. Uh, let me concentrate on this one real quick. I'm pretty good at memory games, if I do say so myself. Oh my gosh, I'm choking. Yeah. 
Yep, choking. Wow, that was embarrassing. I'm really good at memory games. And instant failure. I've dishonored my family. I'm going to have to go back to the shrine now. And just fail the same match three times in a row. Good lord, Ark. Come on, man. Well, I was on good pace to get the max rank. Not anymore. That's frustrating. Ah, and then we got a question one. Excellent. Time to instant fail this one. I gotta get five questions right. Oh, no. She wants which dress. Oh, come on. This is... Ah. Is that a kitty suit? Oh, my God. Uh, you know what? I'm going with the cat suit because I absolutely hate that other dress. I really do. I haven't have mercy on my soul for the, my decisions. Oh, okay, okay. The quizzes actually have a big Q on them. This is actually, like, a legitimately fun fighting game. It's, it's, like, it's got tension to it. I know that's a weird thing to say, but... Oh, two-hit combo. Oh, man, I'm getting owned. I can still catch up, though. I got plenty of time. Alright, we're tied up. Um, it is actually possible to win via ring out. I'm just, nope, I'm, nope, you stay away from me. None of that. I'm gonna win by timeout, because I'm a pansy. Ah, and the bubble bursting one again. That's definitely not my favorite one, but... I mean, there could be worse ones. I have to uh, have to get five of these. That's sorry if I'm quiet. Just concentrating on this one. This one always makes me so nervous to do. Ah, uh, I just do not like this one. And the worst part is the difficulty is always so like so much easier after you fail a couple of times. Come on, man. Yeah, it's really only significant if you manage to get the nice one. The little nice bonus, which is a perfect pump. But again, if you go too high, you get the no like that. So it's it's really strict timing. I got the one. Daijo boo. All right. And how many questions does it want me to get? Five. Five questions. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. The odds are simply not there. First question, um... 78, 56, and 80? Uh... Oh, I should have known that one, actually. I think that was asking for the, um... For the, uh, the highest common... Th or no, the, um... The highest common factor, whatever it was. The math term. Oh, that, that should have been one I got. I'm even good at math. 15 and 82. 15 plus 82? 15, 82 minus 15? Uh, oh, come on. Give me more with numbers. I can usually figure out what those mean. Um, okay. Well, we're done with questions. Give me a better one, please. Oh, the block puzzle. This is a new game. Uh, this is one I actually enjoy, too. You figure out how many cubes there are. Yo, I start up. Okay, one, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, wait, it's 12, I miscounted. Doop, do 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 do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 15. Oh god. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna guess and just say 13. 16. That was a completely wrong guess. Um. You know, we're almost at the end of the game. Let's try showing off as many games as we can here. I'm just gonna keep failing until I manage to get one. What is this? Oh, I've never seen this one before. I'm. I'm. punching the adorable heads. I like the old Sunset Riders, um, minigame. I like this one. I wish they presented him a little bit faster, though. Oh, never mind. I've finished with plenty of time. Three seconds. There we go. Alright, I am the top boyfriend. I am the senpai now. I've never gotten max rank before. That's kind of exciting. I didn't realize that if you actually selected a different minigame, um, you could get full stars for it. Um, even if you failed the previous one. Okay, find the star. And I'm following that there star. Boom. This is gonna take a while. This is a very slow game. I don't like this one. The spinning kind of gives me a headache. Uh, I think it's this guy. Nope, it was not. Oh man, I totally lost track of it this time. Good lord. Uh, I mean, I knew where it was the entire time. Did you all? Probably not, because you're not as great as me. That's a lie. You guys are wonderful, and you're probably following along much much better than I am, because while I was talking, I wasn't paying attention. See? Uh, I kind of just want to get through this, honestly, so we're going to keep going. I think it's about time to wrap this up soon, but I'd like to let you all see the uh, the end of the game, because we are nearing it. Alright, star number five. Bingus. Loving a little dancing man down there. He is just so darn. Wait, there's another rank? No! There's another rank? I feel so betrayed. Ah, we went to an extremely pixelized um, live band. Ah, it's so creepy. Her dancing is so uncanny valley robotic. It's awful. Yep. Yep, that happened. I regret my decision not to pick the awful dress. I have made so many mistakes. Huh. No voice acting that part. And... Then, um, some things happened. Romantic music. A little me dancing in the background. And she looks positively drunk. She is still holding those broken wrists. Uh, this one has two smiley men, and smiley men have served me well in the past. Uh, 
Uh, this is the longer answer, so it's probably better. Longer is, is better when it comes to answers. And... I like the third to last symbol there. It's a little X underneath a bunch of blankets. So we're gonna go with that one. Oh, still more. Um, this is a fishing hook, and she likes fishing, probably. And somebody's whispering something, I think, or in her monologuing. Ah, and she's, she's made of blushes, and... Yeah, I have no idea what she just said. Alright, and that is the end of the game. I get to see all of the um, lovely pictures I took of my uh, new girlfriend. Still mad at her for throwing that ball. I just wanted to take pictures of the basketball. And she had to go and ruin that. We got a sweet picture of Santa Claus posing back there the best picture. Yeah, that was Magical Date EX. Um, it's not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. In fact, I've actually went back and played it a few times because I really do get a kick out of the minigames. Um, I think they're a lot of fun, particularly the frog and the uh, UFO shooting one, but they're all good in their own way, except for that rocket shooting one. I did not enjoy that one. Look at that 1996 shine in her eye. Jiminy. All right. Oh, and uh, we're going to end on a French note. Bin. All right. But I'm going to go ahead um, and I'm going to end this recording. Had a lot of fun with it, and I will catch you guys later.